Welcome back to our Rich YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful trendy headband in very few steps and it doesn't require too much sewing. It's a simple DIY and you can actually use your scrap fabric to make this and it is also very beginner friendly. This is where you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So to make this end band, I'll be working with this fabric. So you should use a stretchy fabric. This is stretchy. You should use a stretchy fabric because this is not going to be having any elastic. So now the measurement I'll be working with to know the length or the breadth or this side. The vertical me the horizontal measurement I'll be working with is the circumference of the head, which in this case is 22 inches. So if you are using a very stretchy fabric, you can deduct maybe one or two inches from it so that it can be firm. But if you are using a moderately stretchy fabric, just use the head circumference measurement like that. So I'll be putting this on fold now, and then I'm going to be measuring my circumference measurement, which in this case is 22 inches, and by the time I put it on fold like this, it's going to give me 11 inches, which I have here. And then to know the length that you'll be working with depends on how big you want this headband to be. So for me, I'll be working with 8 inches. Okay, I won't say that big. You can do 6, you can do 4. So I'll be working with 8 inches by 22 inches. I'll measure it like that. And then I'm going to rule it. And cut that out. So with my scissors, I'm going to cut this. So you can actually sew this with your sewing machine, or you can use your needle and thread because it's not actually it doesn't require too much sewing. So you don't need to do much. So once you cut it out like that, you're going to be putting it on fold like this right side facing the right side and then you're going to be sewing it here so i'll go over to the machine now to do that and then i'll bring you back to show us okay so this has been sewn now as you can see and then i'll go ahead and turn it over to the right side okay so i'm just bringing out what i have there it's very simple to make and you can make many in a day. I can actually use your scrap fabric to do this because it doesn't require too much fabric also So after bringing out everything like this you can take it to the ironing table and iron it But the way you iron it remember you have your sewing point here, which is your seam line You're going to be shifting it to this center like this Okay and then you share it equally. Where you have your seam line, the other side is not going to be having any seam. Where you have your seam line, that's where you sew it. You put it at the center here. And then you're going to be taking this and this together. Okay? So once you take it together like this, you shift it. You take this and then you shift it. Where you have your seam line here, that's a halfway. You put this here. And then this side also is going to meet where you have your seam line. So you have something like this. Remember, it was formerly like this. So now I'm going to be picking it, the half of this point now. I'm going to be putting it at the edge in such a way that my the way I have my seam line here will be here. And where I have my seam line here will be here. So now the next thing I'm going to do, this part that is poking out here, I'm going to fold it over like this. And this part also that is poking out here, I'm going to be folding this also over like this then i'll take it to the sewing machine now and then sew so after poking after placing them like this making sure that they match each other this side i'm going to be put, putting it forward like this to meet this midpoint and then this second side also i'll do the same for it to meet this midpoint and then i'll go over to the sewing machine now and give it a stitch there Okay, so when you sew it, this is what you have. If this side is too rough or if you are making this for sale, you can actually serge it before you turn it because it will be too thick to serge now. So after sewing it, you can serge it before you sew this part. Now I'm going to trim it off because I don't want it too bulky there. And the fabric is quite thick. So I'm trimming it off. Then after trimming it off, I'm just going to pull it out now and turn it. Okay, you can see the way I turned it. It was formally like this. I just like I want to fold these rough edges in 
I turn it like that on this side and also on this side I'm going to be tucking in the rough edge you can see that it's no longer visible and then you have your headband like this you can see how simple it is to make this and you can see that we don't have any seam line on this side because we already have tucked in to where our rough edges is so that is how you make your headband in simple very easy steps and it's really beautiful and very easy to wear i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye